हेलो गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल रिलीजियसली फिट आई होप एवरीवन इज डूइंग फाइन एंड कीपिंग वेल सो गाइस आई जस्ट थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अनदर वीडियो रिगार्डिंग फ्लैग पोलिंग काइंड ऑफ पार्ट टू वीडियो बिकॉज मेनी ऑफ यू हैड रीच आउट टू मी एस्किंग काइंड ऑफ लाइक डिफरेंट क्वेश्चन और सिमिलर क्वेश्चन सो आई थॉट आई जस्ट कम्बाइन ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन इन अनदर वीडियो एंड आई मेक अ शॉर्ट वन दिस टाइम so regarding the first video like what is flag polling and how do you do it and what's the like uh, process and all so that i covered in the first one second one is basically the questions you ask is uh, what are the timings of those of those borders so i have to tell you every one of you that every border has a different time for doing flag polling like there are certain borders which are like for example close to stratford where i live right now uh, sarnia or uh, there's one more close to that sarnia so they are open for flag polling like 7 day a week okay there's no time you can go any time and th- those uh, borders are not very busy so i would say if you are living around those areas maybe kitchener waterloo cambridge or maybe on the uh, southern part of uh, this stratford and kitchener waterloo so probably those areas would be good for you those borders because they as i said before they are open 7 day a week so there is no restriction on the number of applicant or the timing or some any anything of not that sort and the places where i visited as i said in the last video i visited three borders which are close to niagara okay the one on niagara is rainbow so rainbow is a very very busy one okay so you need to go very early in the morning maybe like 6 o'clock or something like that because there is a large queue uh, there is a queue always there is a queue on that border and they usually close around 9 or 10 or 12 like depending on how much rush there is how many people gathered right in the morning so i would say try to avoid that border the rainbow bridge it's it's very it's a one of the busiest uh, in us canada border the the northern uh, the border which is northern to that border is queens queenston leviston border so that also is a pretty busy one okay so i would say try not to go there as well but it is much much better than the rainbow okay so there also it's a, like a queue thing first come first serve basis kind of thing so you try to plan as early as possible in the day and the third one where i got my own uh, work permit through flag polling was the uh peace bridge okay which is south or maybe west to the rainbow bridge okay so it's i think it's a 40 minute drive from rainbow from niagara falls so try to go there because that is relatively less busier as compared to these two okay but again if you're going there always try to go if you're going planning on going to any of these three try to go as early as possible in the day because you will face less number of people and your application will go through fast and like you will be done maybe in couple of minutes or maybe in maybe one or two hour okay and if you have some time like if sorry if you if you live close to the other borders like i say sarnia and i don't know i don't remember that place it's very close to anyways so uh, i'll i'll mention i'll mention that in the description whenever i get to remember those places so and also many of you ask me about other provinces so i'm really sorry i don't know anything about other provinces and the borders and the timings and flag polling so i only about know about these couple of borders like six borders in here in ontario southern ontario so i hope that was useful and you can go visit the website government website it states all the phone numbers and the contact details of, of all these borders i know some of them are very generic kind of a toll kind of thing toll number so they don't go through or they go to a kind of a very general helpline which doesn't help you a lot so i would i would say uh they try to google on the try to go on the government website and try to find a border which is very close to you uh if it is possible if you have a car it's possible for you to drive you definitely try to go to that sarnia and the neighboring borders on that line uh, on that border uh because they are not busy and they are open 7 day a week with no restriction on the timings and number of applicants so i hope that was useful and i'm trying to remember if i if i missed any other question uh yeah if you have applied online okay if you have already applied online for a pgwp still you are uh, eligible to go to a border and again apply there you need to pay your fees again which is like 255 can- canadian okay so it doesn't matter if you have uh, already paid it you will have to pay it again and second thing is uh, again i am not 100% sure about it but you need to have a reason why you are doing this flag polling they will be they are going to ask you like why you are here so at least be prepared if you don't have a solid or a kind of a, a, a mandatory or a 
necessary reason why are you traveling there to get a work permit and why are you not waiting to at least try to prepare an answer like for me as you know uh, my wife was back in india it has been two years and then she got a request from immigration before an interview or oh, sorry after an interview that she need to provide the work permit so that's the reason i told those officers so i think they that's not a mandatory thing but i think they ask you just to check your confidence maybe or not confidence like why are you wasting their time okay if you have already applied online then what's the reason why are you visiting that place and you know doing that thing again so just try to get, get as natural as possible with a smile okay it's nothing to worry about it's nothing to be scared about okay many of you ask me about this no not not a uh, thing to worry about and also yes i remember so when you are crossing this canadian side and you are reaching that american the us side okay you there you will be going to the directly you will be headed to the immigration section there okay you will be getting a a, a paper which says you your name your dob and why you came here it will say flag polling and it will have not no no impact on your uh, us visa thing okay you won't be denied you won't be denied a, a visa on your passport there won't be any stamp or anything written that you were denied of a visa us visa and in it's in any way it's not going to impact you in your further future us visa or sponsorship applications the reason i'm telling you i'm super sure about it because i asked the same this same question to the american immigration officer so they told me that it doesn't have to go on to your records on your passport anything like that so don't worry about it you'll be getting a paper which you need to provide to the canadian immigration border service agent because obviously it's it will say that you visited the other country you're coming to this country now and as a protocol when you come to a country you are granted a stud, student or a work permit okay on which you can study or uh, work here in canada and also one more thing many of you asked me this question slowly slowly i'm remember all the questions so i did not make a note of it i know so the next question is that people were asking me if they need a valid temporary resident visa trv okay i think and i believe and i know that yes you do need a valid trv because on your passport they will be marking they 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 might be putting a stamp over it okay or otherwise they'll be writing something down so on my passport they wrote my work permit number they did some entries on 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 it so for sure a valid trv is required for doing a flag polling and if you think about it technically when you are crossing a border of a country going to a different country and then coming back to a country so definitely you require a visa for that visa is basically it's a document which helps you navigate between two countries move between two countries and permit is something which helps you getting a valid a uh, legal status in that country as as a student or as a worker or as a permanent resident or as a citizen okay so hope that helped and i think now i'm done with all the questions so uh, whatever i remember yeah that was the entire list so i thought of like i tried and uh, did answer couple of you but i thought i'll make a new video so it's going to help you a lot with uh, your questions and as always feel free to contact me for any further questions or queries regarding flag polling or uh, whatever videos are there on my youtube channel they are mostly related to fitness so feel free to call me Uh, message me comment me if you like this video do do like it okay and subscribe to my channel i think i don't say this at the end of my videos anyways if you like it and then like like my video share it with other your fellow people so that they might get benefited with this flag polling thing and you can reach out to me on instagram as well i live there with the same name religiously fit i hope this video was helpful will add some value to your life and i wish you a very good evening morning afternoon night wherever you are thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye bye